Are you looking to set up push notifications for your WordPress website? Today, let's learn how you can set up push notifications. We start with our WordPress website. I would want you to go to plugins and search for a push notification plugin of your choice. If you haven't made up your mind, for this demo, I would be using Izuto's push notification plugin. You can try it out too. So we click install and activate. So once you've added the plugin, you can simply scroll over and you will see the plugin installed onto the panel. You can click on it. And this is what you would be greeted by. Oh, the plugin is currently asking for an ID. For this, you will need to go to isoto.com and sign up. Once you've filled in all the details, you can hit sign up. And this is the screen you'll see. And click on add project. I'd need web push notifications. So that's the one to select. And quickly add the details for our website. Now that the account is created, you'll need to copy the ASUTO code. So to get the app ID code, you'll need to go to general and this is the ID you need to copy. Now ensure that you don't have any spaces for an error-free installation. Now that the code is set in, you can go back to Isoto's panel, and go to setup, and here you have the option to verify your setup. So this ensures that the code that you've copied is being relayed through. As you can see, the integration is successful. Now, before we go ahead and show you what the opt-in for subscribers would look at, let's look at what the different kinds of opt-ins are. So there are two opt-in options available, one for a desktop and the second for mobile. Let's look at opt-in options for the desktop. Now the native opt-in looks something like this. There are multiple others that you can choose from. I was having a chat with the support team at Isoto and they recommended having the native opt-in because that is the one that they've seen most amount of subscribers enrolling in from. The dialog box is another alternative that you can pick. There are multiple other changes that you can also do like adding an overlay and a message as well. Now, I would recommend you to try with an overlay and without to see what works best for your audience. The other crucial thing when you set up push notifications is timing. By default, you will be shown an opt-in immediately. But if you want to have a delay, so that users who come in aren't bombarded with a notification prompt, you can set it to appear after say five or 10 seconds. You also have the option to show the prompt when the user scrolls down to the next screen. I'll set it up to immediately for the desktop. Now, as for mobile, here are the different prompts that you can select from.
The native opt-in again has seen the most amount of subscribers according to the support team. I'm going to leave that unchanged. Now let's go to the website and see what the notification prompt looks like. We can straight away go to this URL. And as you can see, the notification prompt appears. Now that you can see how the notification prompt appears, here is how you can test it. So I can simply go ahead and hit allowed. You can get a couple of your teammates to also do the same. After that, I want you to head over to the Izuto dashboard. So in the Izuto panel, you can click dashboard. Now I've currently subscribed and you'll soon see this active subscriber count go to one. As you can see, an active subscriber is now available for me to target using push notifications. Similarly, you too can build a base of subscribers so that you can send them push notifications for relevant articles and bring them back to your website. That's it.